Hi, this video is third in the series of Work Power Energy. Uh, we're going to look into work in detail in this video. So let's, starting from the previous video, the, if assume that you have a force, but this time the force is in, in this direction, right? And this force results in a displacement of of s so this is the direction of displacement this is the direction of displacement right and this force is making a small angle theta so and and the force is of course applied by a person right and and someone someone like you who is pulling this block and the work done is defined by the work done by you by by you or, or your force F is equal to the force in direction of motion into the displacement now what is this force in direction of motion to understand this i would i would like to go back to trigonometry the the triangle which uh, all of you would remember right so if this is 1 and 2 and this is 30 degrees um or let's say this is 30 degrees so what you have here is 2 sine 30 and what you that's one and what you will have here is 2 cos 30 and that is equal to root 3 right um, right so that's 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 coming from trigonometry so applying the same idea the horizontal force or the force in the direction of the motion is F cos theta so in general we say that the work done by the force is equal to F cos theta because this is a force in the direction of motion into the displacement so work done is F cos theta into S so to understand this better let's talk about all the different scenarios that you may have so a so you have uh, 500 Newton of force and your displacement is 50 meters so here the angle between your force and displacement is 0 degrees so your work done is F cos 0 into S so that's 500 into 1 into 50 that's 2500 joules then you have the second case wherein let's assume the force is the force applied is in vertical direction and again your displacement is 50 meters so here theta is 90 degrees and your work done will be F cos 90 90 because this is 90 degrees this is the direction of displacement and with respect to here here it is 90 degrees and in this previous case that is 0 so your work done is F cos 90 into S that's 500 into 0 into 50 that's equal to 0 so what we mean here is not just work done it's work done by F uh, now 
there could be some other force F2, this is F1, there could be some other force F2 which was responsible for, for this motion, right? Now there has to be some cause without which uh, there would be uh, no displacement. So, so the, the, the work was done by some other force due to which the displacement happened. What the, when we say work done by F1 is zero, that means that this force didn't cause the displacement. There was no work done by this force, F1, okay? Um, C, so let's assume you have the scenario wherein you have force applied at an angle and and this theta is 30 degrees and this is your F and this is, is again your S. So in this case your work done would be F cos theta into S. By the way, when we say work done, it's work done by F always implicitly, right? Um, so that's F is, uh, let's say it's 500 Newton into cos 30 into S is uh, 550 meters. So that's cos 30 is root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2 into 50 and that amounts to 1250 root 3 joules. So you can see here that this is significantly smaller than this. So the maximum work is done when cos 0 is, the maximum value of cos theta is 1. That's a max it can take. Um, cos 30 is less than 1. So this quantity is going to be lesser than uh, 2500, right? So you have the final scenario wherein Let's say you have the force is in this direction. You have the force in this direction. And your displacement is continuing in this direction. So can you give me an example? Think, can you pause and think of an example? Well, an example could be that your car is moving at a, at a velocity of, let's say, U is 10 meters per second, and you are braking. You're, this is a braking force, so you're slowing, slowing yourself down, right? So in this particular case, your theta is, which is, your theta is 180 degrees. So your work done is F cos theta into S that is equal to 500 cos 180 into 50 that's minus 2500 joules. So if your work done is greater than zero this implies your object is gaining speed due to the force and as you remember this is a cause and this is your effect and if your work done is less than zero, zero like in this particular case your implies your object is slowing down due to force. Now there are a lot of interesting questions that gets asked uh, based on these concepts and some of them are uh, some of the questions are you know have has overloaded meaning but let's talk about them right the first type of question you get is hey here you have a coolie and this coolie is lifting a heavy block and due to this block, of course, the gravity is acting downward. So this is your gravitation force. And this is your vertical force applied by the coulee, F vertical by coulee, to hold this, right? Now, the question gets asked, what is the work done by coulee in moving from point A to point B 
which is basically a displacement of s. So work done by Cooley is equal to how much? So first of all, this question is incomplete. So the question should be, what is the work done by Cooley against, uh, or not against, by, by Cooley, uh, Cooley's force, Cooley's uh, force F vertical, right? And so that obviously is going to be um, zero because your F vertical cos 90 into S equal to zero. But this, this does not imply, this does not imply Cooley did no work. Just like the previous example, there must have been some force that the Cooley would have spent uh, in walking in, in horizontally. He must have spent, he must have used up, applied some force horizontally for that movement. So it does not imply Cooley did no work. So, so please keep in mind that the work done by Cooley's vertical force, F vertical against gravity is what um, did not cause, uh, result in any motion right did not displacement so that's that's what it means the second type of question you get is um, let's say you have a uniform circular motion right the uniform circular motion could be due to anything right it could be at yeah, the center you have a string and a ball or maybe sun and the earth or whatever right so you know that in all these cases there is a centripetal force f c and there is a the, the, the velocity is tangential so if you think about a very small displacement in the arc the very small displacement in the arc this delta s and this force the centripetal force is always perpendicular right so work done by the centripetal force is fc cos 90 into delta s now this delta s is very small this is very small right so that's again equal to zero so the work done by so centripetal force centripetal force in uniform uniform circular motion or rather in any motion any circular motion um, does no work on body so this is the other thing which you need to keep in mind